you know guys sometimes i don't have a choice over where i i get to record because um the freaking wind and the loud traffic they're always clowning on me they're always playing me and so i don't ever get as much of a say as i would like in where i record um and so for that simple fact i'm stuck here Ooh. i am so scared of this thing because it nicked me yesterday got me cut pretty good um but today I just wanted to talk about a couple things, which is how often do I actually get cut flipping? Um, and then also too, um, why I'm always playing cringe music on my shorts. Um, one thing is like, uh, it, not all the music I play is cringe. Like a lot of you will see that I have had music on there that is actually pretty good. But um, every now and then I got to play like a cringe song because YouTube literally loves those cringe songs. like. Every time that I play like one of their recommended songs, they'd be like, here, you want some free views? We'll hook you up with some views as long as you play these cringe songs. So that's why they, that's why I do that. But I probably, I know I probably shouldn't either way. Oh, messed that up. But um, I don't know. I still just am like, I just need these views. I'm, I just need these views. And I just need to keep putting cringe songs on my, on my YouTube. And so that's what that's all about. Like, it'll be like, you know, I'm like thinking about putting something nice on there, something I want to listen to, some little classic rap, classic rock, um, stuff along those lines. And YouTube will be like, well, what about this song where it's like sped up and like sounding kind of like weird? And I'll be like, I don't know about that. And they'll be like, come on, if you put I'll dance with my hands above my head, we're going to give you like a thousand kajillion views. And so I just do it. <laughs> I'm such a bot. But hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? Did I get mud in my pivots? No. Also, if you guys haven't seen this yet, here it is. It looks nice in the in the light. But yeah. It's a little dangerous. And then the other thing I want to talk about how often I cut myself. Um, nowadays, I don't cut myself too often. And it's because I know how to do like all these tricks and stuff. Like I mostly don't go too much out of my comfort zone um, with the tricks. And the one that is like the most uh, probably dangerous that I'll do is like the scissor or something along that line. Oh, sorry, I'm getting used to the balance of this. This is like uh, pretty blade biased, um, like more so than I'm used to, but um, I'll get it down. And then you guys will be like, wow, your flips are so clean. Like, wow, this guy's just on another level. But for right now, it's just like drop, 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 drop. Anyways, but yeah, so I cut myself probably like, I would say probably like nowadays, I mean, I'm getting a lot of new knives in right now. So you can't really go off of right now just because it's just like not an accurate representation because I'm getting used to all these balances. But I would say probably like once every couple, every, I would say on a regular basis, probably like once a week if I'm using live blades mostly. But if I, if, like right now I'm cutting myself more often and it's just a product of like what I'm doing. But in a regular time, I usually cut myself like once a week and they're, they're never like any too extreme of cuts. It's like something light, something, you know, not too big of a deal. But right now it's just like that. Sorry about the wind and everything like that. But um, yeah, and the clickbait titles, you know, you guys see my clickbaity titles and you're probably like, man, what's gotten into this guy? He used to be a used to be like against all that stuff and the answer is like what's gotten into me is just that I realized that sometimes you know you got to play the game so yeah <laughs> but it's okay because everyone does it and you know I mostly try to deliver on my titles like if I say hey the cops got involved the cops did get involved then you know I'm not gonna like cap all the way to the highest level of capery but um Every now and then there might be some truth stretching that you might be able to notice. Um, so I apologize. But yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on with me. Um, and I would say like, if you find yourself getting cut like more often than once a week, you should probably switch over to a trainer or um, dull your blades down or something like that. Just because like on the day-to-day -day tricks that you do, you shouldn't be feeling like you're going to get cut. Like... You just shouldn't like, like for me, for example, like when I, when I'm flipping, 
I never feel the danger of like, oh shit, I'm going to cut myself. Like it's always by accident. Like it's always something light and it's always like something where I, I just didn't expect it or it's a scissor. And so like for me, that's just like the basic, um, principle of it is like, I'm not scared of the blade. And I think that helps me to get cut less because when you're scared of the blade, you're going to get cut more often. That's just a virtue of how it works. And so <laughs> see me almost get cut there. Um, and so that's kind of just how that kind of plays out. You know, when you, if you're one of those people that's like scared of the blade a lot, you're gonna get cut. You're gonna get cut because you're not as accurate as you otherwise would be with your tricks. And that causes you to kind of like geek out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So if you're scared of the blade a lot, I would just, I would just transition into a trainer until you can get your tricks down clean. And you should be to where you switch, when you switch into a, a live blade, you shouldn't be like stressed all the time. Like you're going to cut yourself. You should be like pretty lax because you know, you know, the tricks. Like for example, like say you pick up a live blade and you do something like this, right? You should know like, Oh, I, I know I can do that. It's easy. It's simple. Right. But if you can't do this with a trainer, like if you're not consistent with it, then when you pick up the live blade, you're going to be like, oh, fuck, there's like a 50, 50% chance right now that I'm about to cut myself. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what I'm going to title this video is like how to not, um, cut yourself. When you're flipping or like how often should you cut yourself or how often to expect to get cut? Cause that might be like a good little title for it. But yeah, a little bit of a rambler, a little bit of a rambling video today. A little bit of a foolishness to my video. A little bit of a goofiness to it. Man, I can't get a I can't get a flow going with this thing. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that it's like not something I'm used to. Like it's just the balance is weird. Like it's uh the blade is very heavy and the scales are kind of like not as much as I was expecting them to be. Um but um I like it. I like all my battle songs and I'm like one of those guys that likes weird flippers, so I should be good with it. Let's uh let's try to get that combo that I usually try to finish on right there, right there, right there. Oh man. <laughs> Jeez golly gee. Here, let's get that short stop. Thank you. Alright, rock on.